So I want to take a break from my normal programming videos and show you a desktop replacement application that uh, I'm going to start using. Uh, I was a member of the beta and uh, they gave me a $10 discount so I went ahead and bought it. I have the pro version. I'll show you the difference in a minute between the pro version and the free version but uh, this desktop program I really like and I think anyone with a Mac would actually really appreciate it because one of the things you like about the Mac is the graphics and how fluid things are, how smooth. Well this this really brings that together. So it's a replacement for your desktop. Basically you've got a floor and you've got walls. Uh, the best feature I found, the most useful thing, and probably the reason that I'll actually keep this here, is these sticky notes. So say somebody's talking to me and I want to, and I want to write a note so I double click the note thing and I say you know call mom well so I'll have that and I can just put this back up on my wall here and stick it there and I can shrink that down you know if I want to make it any smaller but the idea is that you know Macs have stickies built in but you never use them or some people do and they crowd your your space but here they're in the way and I can even double click the floor and they're out of my way for a while now I can just concentrate on my desktop but if I double click they're there for me. And if I have a lot of stuff on the wall, I can double click the wall itself and it shows me a wall view. So I can actually put, you know, all these over here in a different way. You know, I can have a whole list of things going on over here. Plus I can have pictures. So if I want to hang up a picture on my wall. Now on the pro version I can multi touch. So on my multi touch trackpad I can pinch and zoom to make the picture smaller or bigger. On the free version you have to use these buttons over here. But either way, I've got this picture on my wall. Uh, double click to go back. So what these are down here are they these are your normal icons, but right now they're piled. So I can take these piles, and, and if you're bored, you can take them and toss them into each other, and, and they move around. And they are affected gravity, so if I run it like that, you can see uh, that that was pretty crazy right there. That was a heavy pile. Um, you can make things bigger, and, and then they're heavier. So say I take this, this fo uh, pile of zip folders, and I do the, uh, and I click the... I click the button for grow and I make that a huge pile of zips, right? This is just a huge zip folder, right? So I take this this pile of HTML files and I toss it into that. Well, it moves it, but not as much. But now if I put that in the way and I toss these zip files into that, um, well, let me toss them faster. So, okay, so that, uh, they flew off the page. That's never happened before. I want to do that again. Will that happen one more time? Cool, okay, so it didn't actually happen again. So it's possible to make your uh, your giant zip folder uh, <laughs> fly off the page. But at any rate, um, you can do that. Um, if you have a bunch of files, so say I have these all these movie files, these this huge thing of MP4s, um, I can make that pile bigger since they're movie files. I'll probably want that. Uh, so I'll make them bigger. And now I can actually scroll through them. With the pro version, I can use the trackpad and scroll through like this. So you can see it's, act and it's actually selecting it as I go through. So say I find a movie that I want to stop on, like this one, I can hit spacebar and it'll actually start playing it just like through quick look. Um, I can also break this up. So if I if I right click, uh, not right click, if I click and hit break pile, it's going to break all these files up. Now I probably, it, it probably would have been a good idea to um, make them smaller first. Um, <laughs> this is a huge mess. So let me actually do that. So I'll, uh, I'll right click uh, the, the desktop here and I'll pile by type and it'll put that giant pile back and and so I'll take this pile and I'll I'll shrink it down like that to about there's good eh, one more all right and then I'll break it apart now now it's a little more manageable obviously you wouldn't leave it like this but you can see how these these files are kind of like falling off of this giant pile you know some of them joined it um, so they're, they're doing some really cool 3D effects with this, and of course I can do the bowling thing. But what I wanted to show you is I can select in kind of a really neat fashion. So if I want to select these files, I can actually do that circular selection and make those a pile. I can, I can do a circular selection and select like these three, like that. And I can do clean up, and it'll organize them for me. Um, again, I showed you a second ago, if you right click and do pile by type, it organizes the whole thing for you. And of course, Let's select that pile and make it a little bit smaller, more manageable. Let's let's take your zip files back down. We don't need them to be huge. Um, now with these walls, I already showed you that you can click that wall, but I noticed from the preferences um, that there's actually a back wall, and I couldn't figure out how to get there. But if you actually go through in this view, you can get there. So you can hide things on your back wall if you want to. Like for example, on the side wall, I have this hidden note, and it's called "I'm Secret." And on the back wall, say I want to have a picture that I want to look at, but I don't want people to know I have, like uh, this picture of Megan Fox. It's back here on my back wall, and some other documents I have, um, but <clears throat> no one knows about them because they're on your back wall. And you can go back through and hang things wherever you want. So you could, you know, you can imagine the custom decision, and you can change these back. Rounds. You don't have to leave them the same, and just double-click to go back to your normal view. 
So I think it's a really great program. It's really good for organization. It's got a lot of visual effects that you'll probably never use except for the first week. But uh, this sticky note feature alone is enough to make me get it because now I can write notes and keep them out of the way, which is really important. Before, with the normal stickies program on the Mac, they were just in the way and you never used them. So you forgot things. But the program's uh, $29 <clears throat> on, uh, on bumptop.com for Mac. Now, they've, they've already had the... Um, the Windows version. So if you're on Windows, you can get this too. You actually have more features on the Windows version than you do here. But uh, more to come. And again, it's $29 for the Pro version, but the free version, you can get a lot of the features already in it. So I say give it a shot and, uh, you know, leave a comment and tell me what you think.